Hi everyone, this is Donnie Lowy from CloseThatExplosion.com. I have a wholesale business here in New York, and one of the main items that I sell is wholesale dresses. I focus on brand name and designer dresses, and I also sell fashion label and private label dresses. Right, your brand name and designer label dresses are the very well known names that people are familiar with, either in, a, in their country or on an international basis. And the fashion label dresses are very nice, high-end dresses, but usually by a label that's either up and coming or that's just not very well known. And a private label dress is usually a dress that's made by a factory and they just put in a generic name on it. That's why they call it a private label dress. And it's usually sold based on price, not really that much on the style or on, of course on the brand because it's not a brand name dress. Okay, so today I'd like to give you tips on how to sell wholesale dresses directly to your customers. The advantage of selling dresses directly to your customer is that you're going to be able to capture a much larger percentage of the total profit than if you were to sell the dresses through a middleman to your customer. So for example, let's say you were buying the dress from a middleman. Let's say you're buying the dress from a distributor who bought the dress from a wholesaler who bought the dress either from the factory or both addressed from the brand. There are many layers between you and the source of the wholesale dress. So the price is going to increase at every level. So you're going to have to sell it at a certain price or you might only be able to sell it at a certain price and you're going to lose a lot of the profit that you could have made if you bought the dress directly from the source. Now the same thing happens when you're selling directly to the c consumer. Let's say you were a wholesaler yourself or you bought the dresses from the wholesale source. But now you didn't reach the customer directly, but instead you sold the dresses to a store and the store went ahead and sell the, sold those dresses to the end user. So you're going to be able to sell the dresses at a wholesale price and it's going to have to be a low enough wholesale price so the store can sell those dresses now to the end consumer. But if you were to sell the dresses directly to the end consumer and circumvented the store, you're going to be able to make more money because you're going to sell them at the retail price and you're going to have the total profit that starts out from the wholesale end all the way to the retail end. So now how do you sell those dresses directly to the consumer? One way is you set up a personal shopping business. You find out the types of dresses, the styles, the brands, the sizes that your customers need and want. And then you buy those dresses and you bring them directly to your customers. You get a list of all the people that you could sell dresses to. You speak to your relatives, to your friends, to your coworkers, you know, to anyone that you meet. Let them know what that you offer a personal shopping business that specializes in dresses and then you bring them the dresses that they need. Another way to do it is you can sell those dresses through eBay. You're gonna have a lot of competition, but you're also gonna be able to reach a lot of customers. Another thing you could do is you could sell them on Craigslist. Put listings for the dresses, and when people inquire about the dresses, you give them a lower price than are available at a store, but at the same time, you're giving them a higher price than if you were to sell it to a middleman. Now, if Craigslist is in, in your area, or you choose not to sell on Craigslist, there are many either online or offline free classified ads that you can take and you can sell those dresses through those classified ads. You can also get a flea market booth and bring the dresses to the flea market or to a swap meet and sell them directly to the consumer. You can also go to a store and give those dresses on consignment basis. Now the store will sell it to the consumer. Now. In a way, you're selling it direct to the consumer, which is great. So you'll get a higher price for the dresses. But the disadvantage is you're going to have to give a percentage of the sale to the store. Now, you're going to use that as a last resort because let's say you just cannot find a way or you don't have the time to sell those dresses directly to the consumer. Then it's okay to use a store that's going to sell them on a consignment basis because you're still going to be able to make a sale and at a higher price than you would have otherwise. Another way to sell directly to the consumer is to sell them at your workplace or sell them at your school. Or you might want to set up a sale at a job site or at an educational facility and share the proceeds of the sale with the university or the, or the school or the office where you're selling those dresses at. You could do the same thing with a nonprofit organization. Offer to make a fundraiser for them 
and then sell the dresses directly to the members who want to support that nonprofit organization, whether it is a school or a synagogue or a church or a mosque. Find people who support that organization. You can get a mailing list through the nonprofit organization or have the nonprofit organization contact its members and offer to sell your merchandise to its members. And again, you could share the proceeds with them. The key is you want to bring the dresses as close as possible to the end user so you can offer the dresses at a good price, but at the same time, make as much money as possible by being able to sell them to the people who would otherwise have to spend up to a few hundred dollars buying those dresses at a department store or at a boutique. All right, my website is closeatexplosion.com. You're welcome to visit my website or my warehouse. I am located in New York. Thank you and have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a great day.